all of you out there that think that the agricultural inspection station coming in and out of Florida, like what is that really going on? Well, I'll tell you what, they had an operation and they found 33 of y'all's <laughs> semi-trailers. And I'm telling you, there's going to be a lot of drivers that are going to be happy about this. Uh, let's get into the today's video. What's going on, Mother Truckers? Welcome to Mother Trucker News. Email us at mothertruckernews at gmail.com. Just want to give out a, a shout out to uh, Shane and Catherine. They said we finally got some good news in the trucking industry. And boy, oh boy, yes, we do. 33 stolen semi-trailers recovered in the Office of Agriculture Law Enforcement Operation. So here's a picture here showing some of these uh, 33 trailers. So there's a lot of truck drivers just losing their trailers. You know, they're getting stolen at truck stops and it's all happening out in Florida. You know, so the Florida Department of Agriculture, Consumer Services, Office of Agriculture, Law Enforcement has been conducting months long operation in North Florida to combat vehicle theft and other criminal activities. The ongoing operation has led to identification of 33 semi trailers and a vehicle resulting in multiple arrests and the confiscation of stolen property valued at more than one point three million. Right. The Office of Agricultural Law Enforcement is committed to upholding the law and safeguarding Florida's communities and businesses from criminal activity, said Commissioner of Agriculture Wilton Simpson. This ongoing operation highlights the important work of our dedicated officers and thank them for their tireless efforts to detect, investigate and ultimately deter criminal activity in communities across the state. So, yeah, a lot of people were arrested for this you know besides that you know there was uh, fraudulent credit cards all sorts of stuff and if you guys don't know what i'm talking about here i mean when you go in or out of Florida, there are agriculture inspection stations that you have to go through and they're usually just looking to make sure that you you don't have any plants that you shouldn't have and things like that but yeah, they've been just checking on and seeing that some of these trailers don't match up, but they've been letting these drivers go. Why? So that they can make this big arrest now. So, mud truckers, all I got to say is, you know, kudos to the Agriculture Law Enforcement Department. You know, we appreciate you, you know, to the 33 drivers out there that are going to get their trailers back. You know, comment down below if you're one of those drivers, because I am just excited to have good news, you know, once in a while, you know, to Shane and Catherine. Thank you so much for these updates. But that's what that's about. Since we're on this topic of this agriculture inspection station, you know, I'm going to show you a map of all of them here. And I'm going to give you some uh, facts so that you know what to look forward to, because some people, I remember the first time I went to Florida, I didn't understand what was going on. So who does the inspection stop, right? They stop uh, trucks, rental trucks, vans, and trailers, and any vehicles carrying agriculture or uh, horticultural or livestock products. Now, what are these officers looking for? Uh, agriculture products that are not in compliance with the state and federal plant quarantine regulations, agriculture products that have not been inspected, agriculture pests, uh, plants and animals that are carrying diseases, unsafe food products, and food products that are improperly stored. And in this situation, an uh, operation to get 33 stolen semi-trailers and one semi-truck. So, Mother Truckers, comment down below. But yeah, that is your information for today. What's going on, Mother Truckers? We got big news here. Mother Trucker, Big Rig Tees, One of a Kind Customs. We're going to be at the Texas Trucking Show June 24th and 5th. Do not miss this for the world. I mean, for all the truck drivers out there, over 15,000 drivers came last year. And I'm telling you, it's free for all of y'all. All you got to do is just hit the links down below and register and you can come just for free. It's out here at the NRG Center in Houston and we're going to have a good time. For exhibitors, there's still a couple booths left, so don't miss out on that. And if you want to bring your show truck, it's free to register as well. The Texas Trucking Show, they take care of our drivers. They make pretty much everything free for the driver and just come and enjoy this event. We're going to see you there. Don't miss it. June 24th and 5th.